The Prime Minister yesterday assured parents of the 11 blacklisted schools that they will make sure children do not miss out on the opportunity to attend a full academic year. Uh, some 150 students have been selected to go to some stationary institutions out of those 10 high schools that have been affected. The selections were made based on internal assessments from each of the high schools. Enga Governor Peter Ipatas recently expressed disappointment over the alleged cheating in three of his province's secondary schools. We are very disappointed. If cheating has taken places, we condemn it. We do not promote cheating. That is a criminal act, in fact. A strong supporter of education, the governor has directed a private investigation into the matter. Meantime, the government is looking to extend the terms of reference for the outcome-based education review task force to also review parts of the examination process. We are operating within uh, the confinements of the uh, resources that we have got at present. OBE Task Force Chairman Father Jan Zhuba had said his team will have the OBE review report completed by April. With the new task brought on by the government, more resources may be needed. Mr. O'Neill has earmarked 2 million kina for the OBE review.